So we'll start today's demonstration in the ServiceNow console. And we're in the change module. And we're going to show you how we have published a standard operation or standard change within this module that we'll be leveraging to execute the API calls out to Ansible and AWX. Here you'll see the standard change catalog. And we've got several headers put in, including the network changes. And here's the standard change we'll be showing today, which is the Ansible Add Access Control List, or ACL, to a set of switches. When I go ahead and select to execute one of these changes, it'll get a new form. And much of this is contextually populated based on data that it, we've put in from the standard. You've got a change number there, and then you've got several editable fields that you can go ahead and update as part of your input. Once we're happy with the default values or the values that we've entered, we can go ahead and submit the change uh, for execution. After submitting the same change, you'll see in the green bar up top that the change has been created. We can go ahead and contextually link into that change to see the actual record. There's a number of pieces of data here that we can use. This is actually the scheduler tab. And you can schedule this, obviously, for a change in off shift. In this case, instead of scheduling, I'm going to go ahead and implement this change now for the sake of the doubt. Now that we've selected implement, the change is actually executing in the environment. And you can go ahead and review the change in real time through the notes tab. Usually this isn't tracked real in real time, but as an afterthought should something unsuccessfully happen with the change. But for again the, the purpose of this demo, we will follow the notes tab as things are occurring. You can see that the job has successfully started, and that is a feedback from the Ansible platform. And now you're going to see that the job is actually successfully completed. And it's going to give you a job ID, which is a contextual link into the AWX platform to actually see the verbose logging for the change that was completed. Now that we're in the review state, we can go ahead and click there and see what the output of the change was. Here we're in the AWX platform. And again, you see that same status matching that is successful, that the change was completed correctly across all four switches. We are also able to see the full logging here about what occurred if we were to need that for troubleshooting or for our records in the future. Now, as you know, one of the advantages of automation is not that you can just execute changes in a much faster fashion, but sometimes you can also start adding things like error correction or error handling. So for the sake of this second demonstration, we're going to kick off a very similar change. However, in this instance, I'm going to fat finger uh, some of the testing parameters, and I'm going to change an IP address here, with the intention to actually force this change to fail. And what we're going to do with the purpose of that is to show you that we can add additional error handling and error correction to ensure that changes are executed correctly in the future. So scrolling down into my editable parameters, I'm going to change the test ping IP. You can see I can change this now to something that will not execute correctly, 1.2.3.4. And I'll go ahead and submit this ticket. Contextually launch again into change number 136 through the scheduler tab and skip out of that and manually execute the change to go ahead and start. And as we implement that change, go back in and start looking at the notes and tracking the change as it occurs. We'll see the job kick off. We've passed the parameters and gotten the acknowledgement back from the Ansible platform. We're seeing the change execute. And here we shall see an error occur. We've gotten the error notification back from Ansible. So we can go ahead and select and click into section 125. We can select into the job ID 125, and that will launch us back into the AWX platform. And we can again use the verbose logging. Typically, you would have done this post process because that field change would have been routed to an engineer for remediation or investigation. I would use this data here in the verbose logging to figure out what had gone wrong. So what we've been able to show you today was some advanced and quicker remediation of requests through the automation provided to us through the orchestration platform from ServiceNow, the AWX and Ansible platforms, and we've also shown you how we can start introducing error correction. This same use case could be extended to a number of other automation use cases in the networking environment or across the data center. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at sales at thinkahead.com.